Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Shanae Nicole, his Millennial Housewife, and welcome to day 9 of the Proverbs 31 and 22 Challenge. So, I just want to thank you guys from just for trucking along with me on this challenge. I hope you guys are getting something from it. I know that I am. So, let's just continue to dive in. We are on verse 18. And I'm going to read it in the King James. It says, She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. But um, I'm going to read it in the Amplify. You know, the Amplify has been real clutch <laughs> over these last couple days. But it just brings another um, perspective, another life to it. And it says, She tastes and sees that her gain from work with, excuse me, her gain from work with and for God is good. Her lamp goes not out. But it burns on continually through the night of trouble, privation, or sorrow, warning away fear, doubt, and distrust. This is so good, y'all, because, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you think of the virtuous woman, you think that she just got every everything goes right for her, right? But it says that her candle burns continually through the night. So she see, she understands what trouble is like. You know, when things don't go her way. Privation. I had to look that word up. And it's basically, you're not, you don't have the necessities of life. You know, you're, you're lacking in the things, the very things that should be common to your well-being. You know, so there may be times where, you know, there is physical, like, lack in the house. But she continues to keep the faith. She refuses to distrust. She refuses to fear and doubt through these times, through sorrow, you know what I mean? She doesn't really let herself get into a funk, you know? So that doesn't mean that everything is going right, but that means that she has her attitude in check. That means that her, we talked about emotional fitness yesterday. That means that she she knows who it is that she depends on, and her God is faithful. How do we know that? Because she has tasted and seen that her work for God, it pays off. We see that in that A part of that scripture. Her work for God is good. So not only does she know that, you know, things are going to change in the natural, but the things that she has put into the world, the 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 obedience that she has sown, the seeds that she has sown, those things are eternal. So she, you know, you know how you talk about encouraging yourself. It sounds like to me that the virtuous woman knows how to encourage herself, to, to remind herself of the God that she serves, that he is faithful, you know, that he's going to come through. He came through last time, so he's going to come through this time. You know, speaking that faith, talking and speaking at, um those things that aren't as though they were, you know, and we have to do this, ladies, I know, um, I know for me, I've been in a, like, over the last couple months, I had kind of let my, my hope go, you know, I stopped dreaming, I stopped thinking big, and it, and it's happened over time, you know, and I hadn't really realized it, but as soon as I realized it, I got back in the Word, I started listening to things that, that were going to build me up in that area. And um, there may be certain areas for you too. That maybe you know. Talks about The Bible talks about the hope. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. So there may be areas where you know. You've been waiting and waiting on God. And then doubt has seeped in. Like will he really do it? Cont remind yourself. Revive your faith today. And say you know what. Yes he will do it. Hallelujah. You know, we have to keep our expectation up because when that when we keep our hope and our faith up, then we know that we have those things. It's when we start to doubt, when we start letting fear in, that that allows the enemy to solidify our faith. And we don't want that because in the end, we win. So um, just keep that in mind today. I am praying for you guys that um, you will get everything it is that God has for you, but ultimately that you will be sound, that you will be whole for your family um, and for your friends and for yourself so you can do what it is that God has called you to do. So I will talk to y'all very soon. I love y'all, and I'll see you tomorrow.